Welcome to the Employer Solutions Portal online tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be reviewing how to place an order for drug testing without using an order template. Creating and using order templates is covered in other tutorials. During the tutorial, I will refer to the Employer Solutions Portal as ESP. We will begin by logging into ESP. At the login page, enter your username and password and click the Secure Sign In button. After successful login, you will see the dashboard for your organization. To create an order for drug testing, click on the Orders menu in the list of menu options available at the left. This will bring you to the Create Orders page. The Personal Information section contains a list of all of the required and optional donor identifying fields. Each required field is identified by a red asterisk. The tab key can be used to move from one field to the next. Enter the primary ID. This should be a set of alphanumeric characters that are unique to the donor. In this example, we will use the numbers 1 through 9. Enter the donor first name. In this example, we will use Sally. Enter the donor last name. In this example, we will use Smith. Enter a primary phone number for the donor. You have the option of selecting whether the phone number is a daytime or an evening contact phone number. Even though the middle name, secondary phone, date of birth, and gender are not required, the more information that you can enter now will save time for your donor at the collection site where some of these items may be required to complete the collection. The Accounts section will display a list of all of the Quest Diagnostics accounts available to you only one account may be selected for this order. If you have many accounts and you know the account name or the account number, you may start typing in the box labeled Enter a Specific Account. This is a Type Forward field that will match what you type with the available accounts and display them for you to select. Or you may select the checkbox next to an account in the Available Accounts list. In this example, we will select the account for the Baltimore location. The order code section is where you will be required to indicate which drug and or alcohol test should be performed for this donor. All of the order codes available to the account selected will be displayed here and you can choose the appropriate test by selecting the checkbox. In this example, we will select the order code for the five drug panel. The add other order code field can be used if the test required for this donor is not available as a selection on this page you will need to enter a valid Quest Diagnostics order code in this field. The Collection Type field is where you will be required to indicate whether a single or split specimen collection is required for this donor. ESP defaults the selection to the radio button for a single collection, but you may change it to split where applicable. In this example, we will leave the single collection. If you require that the specimen collection for this donor be observed, Select the checkbox next to Observed. Please note that all collection sites may not be able to perform Observe Collections. If this checkbox is selected, a message is displayed on the page asking that you contact the collection site before sending the donor to ensure that an Observe Collection can be performed. In this example, we will not select the Observe checkbox. The Reason for Test section is where you will select the test reason for this donor from the drop-down list. In this example, we will select pre-employment. The collection site section is where you can either select from one of the predefined collection sites configured for the account from the drop-down list, or you can search for a collection site. If you would like to search for a collection site, click the search hyperlink to the right of the collection site field. A postal code is required to search and the radius is defaulted to 15 miles. You may select a different search radius from the drop-down list. If you are only interested in search results that contain collection sites that are able to receive electronic orders, select the checkbox next to eREC collection sites only. Click the search button and a window will be displayed with a list and a map of all of the collection sites that match your search criteria. For each collection site, you may select the View Details link to view more information about the collection site, Select the Get Directions link to use Google Maps to get detailed driving directions to the collection site, or select the Select Site link 
to choose the collection site for this donor specimen collection. If you know the Quest collection site code, you can enter it in the collection site field. This is a type forward field, and collection sites that match what you enter as you type are displayed for you to select. <clears throat> if the collection site you select is a Quest Diagnostics Patient Service Center, you have the option of scheduling an appointment for the donor on a specific date and time. Select the date from the calendar and all of the available appointment times will be displayed in a box to the right of the calendar. Select an appointment time by clicking one of the boxes with a time. When the appointment date and time has been secured, a message box is displayed indicating that Create Appointment is complete and you can click the OK button. The Timing Information section is where the expiration date and time for this donor's order can be defined. The Time Zone field will be defaulted to either the Time Zone for the account or the Time Zone for the collection site if one has been selected. The default order expiration date and order expiration time will be determined by the ESP settings for your organization. This date and time can be changed. In this example, we will not change the default order expiration date, but will change the time to 5 p.m. The Special Instructions section is where a message of up to 250 characters can be entered. These instructions will be included in the electronic order record and will be made available to the collection site. These instructions will not be available for viewing on the order confirmation page or as part of the order record in ESP. These instructions are strictly for use by the collection site. In this example, we will not enter any special instructions in this section. Click the Submit button at the bottom of the page to create the order for the drug test for this donor. A confirmation page will be displayed that can be saved, printed, or emailed to the donor to present to the collection site. The confirmation page contains all of the information that you entered during the process of placing the order. Upon review, if you find that you need to edit the order, you can do so by clicking the Edit button at the top of the page. A link to create another order is available, which will navigate you back to the Create Order page to start another order. It is important for the donor to present this confirmation page to the collection site along with their government-issued photo ID. Once you successfully place an order for drug testing, a record will be created on your results page and in the Drug and Alcohol Results widget on your dashboard. If the specimen is collected by an EREC-enabled collection site, real-time status updates will be available. Creating an order for drug testing using ESP ensures data accuracy, saves you the burden of storing multi-part chain custody forms, and the effort of getting those forms to your donor. It will provide you with better exposure to the status of collection and specimen testing. This completes the Employer Solutions Portal online tutorial. <laughs>